What is up, guys? It is Nalen, and we are... No, oh, I can't speak. <clears throat> Don't mess up the intro. This is Nalen, and we are playing This is the Police. It is part 31, day 164. It is Christmas, apparently. Uh, holy cow, everyone is not happy. All right, let's get to reading. Black Handsome Hairdresser promotes mistaken, mistaken for drug dealers. Promote... Oh, okay. Homeless band from rail station. Groundwater spill threatens Freebird with flooding. So I wonder what's going to happen with everyone, like, unhappy with me. Anderson didn't come in. Drank too much. Mm. No. Drank too much. No. Drank too much. No. Too tired? No. I don't care. Everyone needs to, like, stop drinking and show up for their job. Alrighty. Hopefully Mole isn't the one I need to, um... Unhappy with the efficiency. My phone is buzzing and I do not know where it is. That's gonna have to be okay all right all right we got everyone out there hello i've been staying at a motel with my sweetie having a little fun and relaxing you know then we saw a creepy guy with a scar on his face coming out of the next room i recognized the guy right away because i've seen him like five times on tv this picture is all over the news he's suspected of murdering a bunch of people he's still here you better hurry um i said i suppose we'll send two we don't really need to send I have no idea why I just knocked over. That's whack. Teacher bit a boy on his face. What? Because he was biting the other children. What? What is this? The beginning of this video is crazy. All right. The police are on the phone with the child's mother. Come to arrest his menace or I'll shoot her like a dog. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, I suppose we'll send two. All right. What else do we got for today? Last video was pretty normal, but, like, the cases just made sense. That case did not make sense. Uh, more dangerous. We're going to send some of the green guys, because I think sending a lot of the red with the green is what causes the issues. Alright, we got him. Telemarketer alerted Claire Dick to a clinic for free rejuvenation procedure. Arrived at 2 o'clock and received various injections. Afterward, her whole body was swollen, her muscles went numb, and her face trembled with unbearable pain. Clinic is requiring her to pay the full amount of $500 for the procedure. She doesn't have that kind of money. Uh, I don't know. If, I feel like they messed her up, though. I guess the hospital would still charge you even if they made mistakes. So the medical industry is corrupt. Yeah, there we go. That's a solved case. Alright, now I guarantee you... I guarantee you they're going to fail. Because I have two red and two green. A man was robbed by two thugs armed with nunchucks. One came from behind, hit me on the back of the knees. And the other struck me right in the nose. Alright. We have a lot more people who want to vote for Robespierre versus uh, Mayor Rogers. Alright, I don't have anyone. Hold up. Gravelly voice of Mrs. Adams just phoned in with a new demand. There's brazen black virgins spreading their infection right there in broad daylight. What? Okay, cleaner was mopping her boss's office, found a strange bundle of wires sticking out from under the table. I'm afraid to even move. Alright, tell you what, we'll send two there. We'll send three here just in case this is something, but I... I don't see what the crime is. J Boogie died. That's fucked. 
not good, but you know. <laughs> I was about to say that's fine, but it's not fine that he died. Uh, two guys with nunchucks calmly walking down. Hey, ninja wannabes, throw down your toys. Uh, yeah. They got away. See, I told you it was going to happen. Foxman, Chovich, elderly woman with Alzheimer's, barricaded herself in the room with all the medication, started swallowing everything. That's horrible. Go save her. He worked for a long time, too. 68 days. I didn't actually send him on a lot of um, assignments, though. 106, 99. Wires, okay. Okay. We got. So let's not send red guys with green guys. Passerby saw a car drive up onto the curb, knock over trash can, speed off. Driving under the influence. This guy's going to be driving there under the influence. There we go. It's weird, since I don't have a deputy anymore, I can't see my, um, my stats on, like, there we go. No new frames found. Alright, what do we got here? Don't have all the right frames. Three new frames, okay. I'll just put these out there right now. Escaped, okay. I think the end of the game, the police station is just supposed to fall apart anyways. I feel like it's not supposed to work. You know what I mean? Uh, dead. Dead. I don't really want to ask anyone to show up to work. Let's ask these three. They're in the green. Mr. Boyd, there's some armed men on the floor. Uh, Mr. Boyd, there's a lot of them. I didn't catch that. Say again? Excuse me, Mr. Boyd. It seems I accidentally frightened your secretary. Ah, they published these stories in a book? <laughs> My grandfather read me these stories from the old newspapers whenever I was ill. Ah. As a child, I was often ill, several times a year. And you know what, Mr. Boyd? You're no Bobby Flash. I am aware of that. No, no, no. I, I mean it as a compliment. You, you want to clean up all the crime in Freeburg, right? Or so I dreamed, once upon a time. Do you know why you failed, Mr. Boyd? Do you know why Bobby Flash always wins? Because when you're surrounded by cartoon criminals, the only way to win is to become a cartoon cop. <laughs> you're no cartoon, Mr. Boyd. You suffer too much. You have too many doubts, too much fear, too much internal conflict. Maybe that's why the people of this city forgive all your mistakes. Because you seem like a real human being. If Bobby Flash made a mistake, we'd never forgive him. From Bobby Flash, we want cold, calculated perfection. And this is why I've decided that I don't mind if you keep your job. What, have you abandoned your insane plan to storm the city hall? You think it insane? To solve all my problems in a single stroke? Assuming, of course, that we're properly prepared. Yeah, let's say we do burn city hall to the ground and kill Rogers. What next? You simply walk into the smoke-filled room and take a seat in his smoldering chair? <laughs> no, Mr. Boyd. I've been preparing for a year for what happens next. 
I'll give the prosecutor's office an impressive folder with compromising evidence against Rogers. Information about how he suppressed his political adversaries, finally lost his mind, and plotted to rain blood on the streets of Freeburg. Of course, Troy Starr, faithful City Hall employee that he is, will easily confirm all this. At the same time, my dear Jordan will finally decide to break her silence and tell everyone how that fool Rogers threatened her, forced her to kill all the victims of his sexual violence to ensure their unpleasant stories would never come to light. Of course, everyone will understand that we didn't have time for formal complaints. The night before Mayor Rogers' private security detail would plunge the city into chaos, our valiant police chief Jack Boyd made the difficult decision to arrest the mayor of Freeburg. Unfortunately, Rogers descended into delusion and engaged in a shootout with the police, which ended in his death. We'll have to call an early election to replace the mayor, and of course, it won't be too difficult to win the election fairly. And then... You know, Mr. Boyd, most of the facts that I collected in Roger's file are quite true. Anyone who reads through the mountain of evidence would have no doubt that this man was the most vile person in the world. Murderer? A rapist? Thief? Racist? Sexist? Uh, are you a sexist, Mr. Boyd? I'm sorry? Are you a sexist, Mr. Boyd? Or perhaps racist? I try not to be. That's it. I as well. I as well. Although I have long been known under a revolutionary pseudonym, I myself am no revolutionary. I believe in evolution. I am convinced that a city which offers such broad support for racist gangs, a, a city where people cheer as feminist protests are suppressed, a city which for decades has tolerated corrupt officials, I, I say this city has no interest in a mayor who unconditionally stands for freedom, equality, and the rule of law. Not yet. But perhaps they are ready for a mayor who tries to stand for freedom, equality, and the rule of law. At least when the situation allows it. That's why you're so popular, Mr. Boyd. The city is ready for people like you and me. For people who are ready to make compromises. I'm counting on you, Mr. Boyd. And, uh, when will they be ready? I beg your pardon? You said that the city isn't ready for a mayor who stands for freedom, equality, and the rule of law. When will they be ready? Who decides when they're ready? I'll decide. Oh my gosh, I have to make the choice now? No, I am not, I am not ready to make the choice. I didn't expect it to... <laughs> so, we're going to discuss it before I make the decision then. So we know Rogers, all that is true, that what he said about him is like, with the sexism and uh, like the rape allegations, everything from what we know with... Uh, Lena from the prosecutor's office and like the video she has. But I don't like the idea of Chaffee lying to the public about all the stuff that isn't true about Rogers uh, posthumously if we took him out. And they both say we can keep our job. But, like, I feel like one of them's lying. Like, Roger's always wanted to get rid of us. Chaffee, he seems kind of chaotic. I feel like he would get rid of us. Hmm. And I'm wondering, what... Is there a cannon option? Storming City Hall? That's stupid. No. I can't become mayor. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to support Rogers because this goes back to the whole dentist thing. Like, what is that? Like 
15 episodes ago. Like, Chaffee, he literally created a serial killer just to help give us a win for our popularity. It's like, Rogers didn't do that. It's like the devil you know versus the devil you don't. Uh, I'm going to go with Rogers because I said I was going with Rogers, even though Chaffee does make, like, very good points. So we're going to support Rogers. And I don't know how long this video has been going on for, but I'm going to call that a video right here. And we'll see how it goes in the next couple videos. So we'll see you guys then. Peace.